Hello Leo, welcome back. This is your general love reading for Gemini season, so it will not be for every Leo watching. If it is your story, comment below. If not, you can check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind as time, energy, and gender are fluid. Reverse roles, however they apply to your story. And as always, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my lovely Leo subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support of the channel. Thank you for your donations and also anyone who has purchased private readings. Um, I really appreciate you guys. And if you are a new subscriber, please be sure to drop down the description box. That way you can also connect with me outside of YouTube. All of my social media links, website, payment app information for those of you who want to purchase private readings, and my members only link for those of you who like your readings a little spicy. So before we get into the Reading. This is Gemini season, which is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. And therefore, we will be doing a reading on your person of interest regarding what they are thinking and what they want to say to you. So uh, if you feel like this reading is resonating more for what's going on internally, that's totally okay too. Just take what applies and let the rest fly and do not force any readings to fit, okay? So what do we need to see? For the sign of Leo in regards to their person. What is it that we need to see? What does spirit want us to know in regards to the energy of their person? And keep in mind, this could just be um, an overall message for you. It could be about them. It could also be about the climate of your connection. Really just depends. So what do we need to see here from the heavenly bodies? Oh, am I, am I surprised, Leo? No. We have the Saturn card here, and we know that Saturn is retrograde right now, and this card has come up already twice um, in these readings. So the key words here are feeling restricted, experiencing struggle, learning hard work, and patience. So we know that Saturn is Father Time, Lord of Karma. Um, and overall, I feel as if those of you who are on the up and up with astrology, you already know that Saturn retrograde means business, okay? So any retrograde is a time for us to reflect and review, rethink, and all of those great things. But specifically with Saturn retrograde, anyone who's not doing the work is going to be getting dragged this season. And, and it ain't just a small season, okay? Saturn retrograde is going to be from, from now all the way until mid-October. So for anyone who's been pushing off their, their hard work, anyone who's been avoiding shadow work, anyone who's just been sweeping shit under the rug, this is going to be a time of struggle, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you've been doing the work, if you've been showing up as your authentic self, if you've been responsible and handling your business, then you will be rewarded this season, okay? So only you know who you you are. Now, since this is a reading about your person, I kind of feel like, Leo, some of y'all's people are going to be getting dragged up and down the street this season because a lot of them have been those carpet sweepers, okay? Those people who are just acting like, oh, everything's fine, tra-la-la. Meanwhile, there's hidden guilt and shame over things that they know they've done wrong or responsibilities that they know that they've shirked or avoided, Okay, so Saturn coming in hot, first card of your reading, Leo. Let's see what else we have. What else does spirit want us to see? House one, energy of Aries. Okay, we have the, the bird being birthed from the egg. Okay, this is about a rebirth. Individuality, self-image, and approach to life. So this could be the lessons that your person is learning right now, okay? Um, learning how to stand out from the crowd, learning how to be themselves, okay? This could be why maybe they haven't done the work because they've been afraid of what other people will think of them, how others will view them. Maybe their approach to life has been from behind the, the curtain or behind the shadows, right? Just kind of faking it till they make it and avoiding all the important lessons. Spirit's telling them, not today, okay? So now they're starting to um, step into themselves. They're starting to think about how they approach life based on what they've done before and what they know they need to do moving forward. 
and house nine. So this is about spiritual growth. So your person is going through a bit of a spiritual awakening right now, okay? Um, I, I feel almost this, obviously we have this bright orange energy. This could have to do with the sacral chakra and themes around shame, okay? So bottom of the deck, we have the North Node, and this is about what you're destined to have. So this is about destiny and the path moving forward. So your person is um, getting that wake-up call, okay? They're getting the wake-up call, and Spirit is telling them, you are destined to have and be so much more than what you've allowed yourself to project into the world thus far, all right? So major awakening happening here. And uh, also, we've got House 5. Okay, so one, nine, five, those could be significant numbers for you guys. But again, we've got passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity, energy of Leo. So as we move into the summer months, um, as this person transforms, they are going to be experiencing this new passion and need to create something new, right? There's going to be a newfound confidence in this person and a need to, to be more childlike, to be more confident, courageous, okay? So very interesting. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Lots of orange and red energy here. Um, what's going on in their mind? What are they thinking about this connection? So you have the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Magician represents the energy of Gemini, okay? And this is someone who is very mercurial, someone who is very resourceful, someone very intellectual, intelligent, someone who knows how to get what they want, right? Um, this, could, this could sometimes show up as a manipulative energy as well, but... You know, this person is thinking about the future. They're thinking about what they have and who they are because this is around their self-worth and self-image, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy, someone who is independent and doesn't need anyone else. This could be what they're thinking about you, Leo, okay? So if you are the one that's been doing the work, if you have been working on your stability, if you've been good to go, not needing anyone else, focusing on your own stability, and abundance, then this person is seeing that you are the magician here, Leo, okay? They think you have the power and confidence to do anything and make anything happen, and they consider you as someone who is magic, okay? Um, and also, this is a very self-sufficient energy. This person could be used to um, hiding behind relationships where they feel needed, right? Which it's kind of ironic, right? Most people want someone who's confident and secure, but the people who aren't doing the work, the people who are hiding, they tend to hide in relationships where they feel needed physically because they're afraid to stand on their own, okay? I said it, all right? So what else do we need to see about this person? What's going on inside their mind? What are they thinking? Three of Cups. So this person is also wanting to reconcile, okay? Three of Cups is about friendship, celebration, and trust. We have a full moon over their heads. They look like they're doing a ritual together, okay? So ultimately, this person is thinking about reconciling and, and being around people that they can trust, that they truly love. Um... But with this five of swords happening here, there's an internal conflict in their mind, okay? There's a little bit of a struggle here. This person, whether, okay, two scenarios here. Either this person stabbed you in the back or this person got stabbed in the back by someone else, which is causing them to remain in a hazy or confused energy, right? If this person has experienced hurt in the past or um, a connection where they felt like they had to be in competition with their mate or, or they had to... Um, they had to deal with like emotional manipulation and gaslighting and confusion and things like that, then this person could struggle to, um, this person could struggle to show their emotion or even put themselves in another situation based on the past. But if this person has stabbed you in the back or created conflict or confusion within your connection and then walked away, this person could be very insecure about that right? Insecure about how they treated you because they know you didn't deserve it. They're ashamed. Okay. We're talking about the energy of shame popping up here and the overall energy. 
So if this person is ashamed of their actions towards you, creating conflict and, and a confusing environment for you, maybe making you think or leading you on even, and then walking away, this person knows what they did, okay? And it's causing them to want to make things right, all right? So I just seen the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which speaks to me of someone struggling and suffering in silence. All right, the nine of swords is is like having nightmares, being up late at night, not able to get someone off your mind. We also have the king of cups. So um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But king of cups is someone who is so deep and filled with emotion, but they hold back their energy, okay? They hold back their cup and they refuse to share unless it's someone who is worthy. So I really do feel like this person has been hurt before. Um, I also feel like they are thinking of you as this person who has so much emotion for them, but you're also not sharing your cup, okay? Maybe out of pride, Leo, but you're keeping your emotions to yourself with this person, I think, because you know that they did you wrong. You know that they are the ones who need to come in and clear the air and make things right from how they treated you in the past, okay? So um, I know these cards are a little crooked. I'm gonna try to fix it. So ultimately, we have someone who is gonna get dragged by Saturn because instead of being honest and authentic and sharing their emotions, they um, confused instead, okay? They threw a wrench into things. They created... Um, a toxic environment, okay? One in which I have a feeling, Leo, you were not keen to stick around in, okay? So what else do we have to see here about this person? What else does Spirit want us to see? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, yeah, they're working on their stability. They, they definitely want to come forward and... Um, Again, they want to make things right. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is someone who takes their time because they don't want to screw things up. There's a level of maturity that still needs to be reached here because, again, the reason they're afraid of screwing things up is because they're not at their full potential just yet. They haven't been able to let go of the fear of failure. Okay, so this person is approaching slowly and steadily and building themselves up along the way because they know that in order to be worthy of you and your attention, they're going to need to show up with the realness. Okay, they're going to need to show up with something tangible, something stable and something real. Okay, so ultimately, if they haven't provided this sort of stability in the past, they know for damn sure that the only way you're going to forgive them, take them back, give them another chance, is if they completely show you a different side of themselves. Okay, the Ace of Swords, and a part of that is being completely truthful, honest. Okay, the Ace of Swords is clarity and truth, it's justice. This person knows that they need to transform the way they communicate with you because you deserve nothing but the best. You deserve nothing but the truth. We have this um, sword being plunged into these red roses with butterflies. Um, I just feel like this person knows that it could potentially cause distress, okay, or disruption if they were to be completely honest but again, it's almost like they know they don't have any other choice. That's a part of their transformation. Instead of hiding right behind others or behind their self-image, they end up exposing themselves anyway, okay? Uh, but in a bad way, right? Instead of just being honest, even if it hurts someone or even if it's not what someone wants to hear, they're hiding about it and they're causing confusion, right? Which again is very toxic. So bottom of the deck, we've got justice in the reverse. So obviously there was some unfairness here. Um, and, and, you know, Leo, you might be watching this reading, hoping that you do get your justice within this connection. And I would say that that's very valid because if this person left you in that energy of the five of swords feeling, um, you know, manipulated or again, just left out in the dust, 
then justice does need to be served. And I think that your person is also aware of that. They know that they weren't fair to you. They know that the way they treated you was unjust and they want to make it right. And after that, we've got the six of wands, which is victory, okay? So this person is well aware that they need to take control and move things forward passionately with you. And they need to be confident and courageous within themselves, right? And he's also holding an orange sphere, which again, we're talking about that orange energy or the sacral chakra surrounding the theme of shame. So this person is almost like owning up to it and holding their shame and everything out there for the world to see, because the only way that they can be winning Leo is if they have you by their side. Okay. And they know that, but considering how they treated you in the past, they're going to need to do a complete 180 in order to even get your attention at this point. Okay. So what does spirit want us to see? What's the advice here? What is the advice here? Light. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. And, and that is you, Leo. You are the energy of the sun, okay? So keep shining your light. Keep showing the, the way to this person. That could also be very metaphorical as well. You know, you shining your light is helping this person to see the light of their own, to help them recognize their mistakes, to help them see their own toxic behaviors, so hopefully this Saturn retrograde is smooth sailing for you, Leo, and your person seeing you experiencing good karma is going to make them want to get their shit together, okay? What else do we need to see here from this deck? We have patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So Spirit could be telling you to have patience with this person. Um, allow them to learn their lessons. Give them their space. And inner worlds, your external world is a reflection of your inner world. So as within, so without. Um, shining your light requires you to be good from within, right? And I'm not saying good like as in good versus evil. I'm saying good as in solid, okay? Solid, good, Gucci, right? So if you're good from within and you're shining your light, then your external world is going to reflect that. Okay, if you feel this connection with this person and you know that it's dependent on them um, completing their own karmic cycles and lessons, spirit's telling you to be patient and allow them the space to do so. Okay, and then we have vibration. So keep your vibration up. Okay, your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. So keep staying connected to spirit. Keep shining your light, Leo, and being your courageous self. And your person is going to follow in your footsteps. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what they want to say to you. What is the overall message here that Leo's person wants them to know? I can't see myself letting you go. So they already know that, that they don't want to be without you, okay? What are you doing today or later? So they're also like wanting to make plans with you, okay? They want to know what you're up to. They want to see what you're doing and maybe even test the waters and see if you would be willing to communicate with them, okay? Um, and again, everyone's circumstances are different, right? Some of you may have already reached your limit with this person and have clicked off this reading by now. But for some of you who are still holding on and hoping that this person gets their act together, they're, they want to, okay? They definitely want to. The first step is admitting you have a problem, right? And sometimes the first step is admitting that you are the problem. And I think that's what this person is going to be forced to recognize during this Saturn retrograde, okay? You always knew how to make me smile. So maybe this person could also be the grumpy type or the type that, again, like kind of hides away. Um, you, you made them happy. Your light made them have light okay so your light is rubbing off on them you're making them happy i see how independent you are and it makes me insecure so isn't that what i just said earlier your your ability to stand on your own and and do everything that you can do leo is actually an insecurity for this person because i don't believe that they have the ability 
to do what you do. I think that's a part of the lesson they need to learn to stop hiding behind others or hiding in relationships where they feel physically needed because they may feel as if they physically are not needed by you. You have everything you need. And that could be very, um, that can be very emasculating, right? For, for men. Okay. I don't, even some women too, I could imagine. If you're not secure within yourself, obviously seeing someone else being secure is going to make you feel some type of way, okay? Um, it's all about how you feel within, and we go back to that inner worlds card. As within, so without, okay? I want to tell you that I love you. Yeah, they definitely have love for you, for sure, okay? They want to make things right. And by the way, I forgot to say, I'm using the Mercury Edition 8 um, deck by The Pretty Psyche, which I'll link down below, but I figured it was appropriate considering um, all of the mercurial energy. <laughs> so you inspire me a lot. Yeah, you're this person's inspiration. You make them want to be better. You make them want to do better. What else do we need to see for Leo? What are you doing this weekend? So, you know, a lot of this, like, what are you doing? What are, like, trying to make plans, asking you what you're up to today, what you're up to tomorrow. Like, this person wants to fill all of those slots. They want to be on your calendar, Leo. I don't like anyone giving you attention on your pictures. So, you know, they don't like seeing anyone basically getting all up in your grill because they want to be up in your grill, okay? They don't want to see everyone fawning all over you and and liking your pictures and, and giving you attention because they want to be the one giving you that attention. And it's making them jealous, okay? This person has a jealous streak. I've been lurking your Instagram a lot, so they've been looking you up on social media, Okay, and maybe they don't like what they see, right? If you're not in communication with this person and maybe talking to someone else or, again, other people showing you attention, then it's, it's kind of making them bubble up inside. And now I'm seeing this energy here. This could be what makes them finally crack that egg and have that new beginning, okay? What else do we need to see here? What else does Leo's person have to say? So, first of all, I get anxiety to lurk you. So, you know, maybe it makes them kind of nervous too, right? They want to look on your page, but they don't want to know. They don't want you to know that they're doing it. Um, obviously, you know, on a lot of apps, you can see like who views your story and things like that. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this person was like creating fake accounts, and, like just trying to see what you're up to, um, thinking that you won't notice, but y'all know, y'all already know. You can tell when you feel that energy, when someone's like lurking on you, you can sense it. So I'm so embarrassed over my actions. Yeah, they should be right. That five of swords said it all. I don't like other women finding you attractive. That's oddly specific, but women, men, whatever your sexual orientation doesn't matter. They don't like other people showing you attention. It's the same sort of vibe, okay? Me and you are meant to be. So they know that you're the one, okay? And that is why they're struggling so hard because maybe you and them are very different, okay? Maybe you are just from completely different worlds and it might be difficult for them to... Um, picture that in the physical right because again the six of wands is about public recognition we saw the the public image happening here this person could have issues about being with someone who's so different from them okay um but ultimately they know that it's meant to be and that is the struggle so seeing you doing better is making me want to be better for you so again going back to that whole inspiration energy you're inspiring them to be a better person And I brag about you sexually. So whether or not you've actually physically been with this person, they could be bra bragging about you physically, okay, about your physical traits. Um, I mean, you know, not to get too into it because obviously I don't want to get docked on YouTube or get community violations, but... Um, you know, even if you've never even touched this person, you could have assets, okay? <laughs> you could have assets to be proud of. And this person is, is like basically like 
ogling you by talking to their friends about you and saying like how you're this and that because they admire you, okay? They're attracted to you. And we have, I regret hurting you, okay? So obviously this person has a lot of regret. Um, they clearly want to make plans with you. They want to make things right. They want to reconcile. And uh, and yeah, I think also, like I said, they're a little bit jealous because if you've stopped showing them attention and you've kind of opened the door to, you know, maybe um, seek out another soulmate or whatever, then this person can feel that, okay? And it's kind of lighting the fire under their ass, especially if you have been doing the work and you're being rewarded this season. They're watching you being rewarded and they're the ones getting that that karma okay so um, it could be kind of hard to watch you shining Leo and being your magnanimous self meanwhile they're over here still learning the same damn lessons over and over again okay so keep being you keep shining oh my candle just went out um, so I'll take that as confirmation but keeping your beautiful self keep shining um, and um, yeah just Allow things to transpire, okay? Let this person do what they need to do um, and don't let that energy affect you this season, okay? So if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like the video, comment below, um, purchase a private reading if you wanna go even further. And of course, stay tuned for your full moon in Sagittarius reading. Um, I think it's Sagittarius pretty sure. Yeah. Sagittarius, mid-month musical messages and all the good stuff. So I love you guys and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.